profile. I'm Gary Dunn, and in the hot seat tonight, comfy chair is Mr. Craig Pinky. How are you, Craig? I'm very well, thanks, Gary. Thanks for coming in to see us. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. Did you uh, get enough of the catering and the oh, yeah, I've, hospitality? Um, yeah, I've uh, been making good use of the red wine, thank you. Excellent. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, we'll start with where were you, where were you born, Craig? Uh, I was born in a little town called Deal in England, yeah, uh, south of England, and um, came to Australia when I was nine, 10 pound pom. Well, <laughs> likewise. Yeah. I'm sure there's a few of us around. Yep. Um, so what instruments do you play, Craig? Uh, guitar, yep. uh, mouth organ, yep. and uh, I started off playing drums at school, actually. And um, yeah, the band I was playing in at school um, Decided I was a better singer than a drummer, so that's I what got, I think. I saw you first time right. singing. Yeah. I got promoted to, to singer. <laughs> well, singer. Singers get all the women, don't they? And well, so I'm told. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what was the turning point in your life? So, to become a musician, to sing, to um, yeah. Well, I, I guess it was probably that really. You know, yeah. like like when I started playing with with those school with that school band, yeah. and then sort of. You know, bands around that age. You know, I was about you know probably fourteen, fifteen, or yep. something. Um, I just loved it. Yeah. You know, and and I thought, no, this is what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. And so that school band was seventy two. Yeah, around there. Yeah, yeah. that's the fir first band I was in, probably about seventy two. Yeah. Because yeah. I think I first saw you at the Cottesloe Life Surf. Oh Club yeah, week. yeah. That would have been a little bit later. I was would have, would have been seventeen then. Yeah. It was about um, nineteen seventy seven, I think. Yeah. And that was like. with a band called Tyrant. Yep. Uh, Lindsay Ladigus. Uh, Dave Crosby on drums. Wow. Um, and uh, yeah, they they were playing with a singer at the time that they weren't too happy with. So um, they actually saw me in the in the yep. in the local school band at Kelmscott High School. I was playing with the school band, yep. and they came down and, and and sort of saw me. And I saw him in the audience and thought, Oh, shit, I know those guys. You know, they play in a professional band. You know. Yeah. <laughs> and now, anyway, they were, they were casing me. You know. Yeah. And anyway, they came up after the gig and offered me the offered me wow. the gig. And, and they're sort of like, are you old enough to play in pubs yet? And I go, oh, not quite. <laughs> yeah. But in those days, I mean, yeah. nobody checked, nobody cared. I think I was a year or two behind and mm. uh, we used to come down and see you on Sunday nights and right. that's what I keep saying to Lindsay every time I see him, you're the reason I play. Right, yeah, great. And uh, cause I used yeah. to watch you guys on stage and want to be right, right. like you guys. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so, so, um, so after Tyrant, you moved to England at some time, didn't you? Yeah, so after Tyrant, um, that progressed into Warrior and we did a few more gigs around uh, town and, and, and um, yeah, that was, the, that was you know, the time I was checking out bands. We were playing at places like the Raffles and, you yeah. know, um, and I was checking out bands like, uh, I think it was Everest at the time, with John yeah. Myron and stuff like that. And, you know, it was an awesome scene, really. You know, yeah. some great bands and musos around. Um, but, uh, but I had, you know, ambition and I wanted to do something more, you know, than, than being sleepy old Perth. So, yeah. so I hopped on a plane to England and, um, uh, and went for a few auditions just out of, you know, back in Melody Maker and mags like that. They had, yeah. you know, Singer Wanted, blah, blah, blah. So, um, and I uh, went to a place called Maidstone. Yep. And there was a band, I um, can't remember the original name of the band anyway, but they were, they were kind of more like jazz rockers. So they were good players. Um, but the new wave of British, British heavy metal was happening at that time, mm. um, sort of early 80s. Yeah. And, um, and they, they wanted to go more heavy rock, you know, and, and into that sort of scene. Yeah. And that's what I was all about, you know, yeah. Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, you know, that, yeah. was, that was what I cut my teeth on. So, so, uh, so I joined them um, and we made uh, a demo and we got a record deal with RCA. Oh. What was that band called? Alcatraz. Alcatraz. Mm. And there's yeah. a, there, there was another band um, later on in the piece called Alcatraz with Graham Bonnet in. Oh, that, right. That, that, he, yeah. that he formed in America with um, some American guys sort of yeah. thing. But we were the sort of first Alcatraz, really. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and he copied you. Yeah. Well, I don't know if he copied it or it was just coincidence. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, so that band was, was great. You know, and basically we, we were on a retainer from the record company. Yeah. They put us on tours with... Um, Oh, one big tour we went on was with a band called Tigers of Pantang, um, Samson, which yep. was Bruce Dickinson yep. from Iron Maiden. Yeah. Um, got to know him quite quite well on the tour, uh, and a band called Magnum from the north of England, and us. All right. And we sort of, you know, did a big tour of England with that. So I was, you know, I was living the dream. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how long did you stay in England for? Then? I was there for about three years, um, three and a half years or something like that. Um, the band folded for various reasons. Yeah. 
as they do. Yeah, as they do. And um, it was too bloody cold. Yes. You know? I, was, I was used to the Aussie summers and the, you know, the Aussie, Aussie, Aussie weather by then. And I'm like, you know, I was facing like another cold winter in England with no band. And, yeah. you know, and I'm like, bugger this, I'm going, to, I'm going, yeah. going back. You know? Yeah, yeah, cool. So, yeah. so you came back? Came, came back to Perth um, and the first band... Um, the first band that I joined um, was with um, a couple. I'm just trying to think exactly now because yeah. it's, you know, it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, when you're yeah, put yeah. On you know what it's like. Um, but I, but I joined, I joined um, up with uh, Anthony Bridge yep. and uh, Bob Emsley on bass, um, and they were playing in a band called Saigon, yeah, um, which at, at, um, it was playing at the Lido, and I went and saw them and thought, yeah, these guys can play, mm. sort of thing. They wanted to get a band together, so so I got in a band with them, and we we I played with them. Um, Danny Sushnir was in the was yeah. in the band for a while. What a great we, player! Yeah, <laughs> Tribal Jury. Um, we did some originals, did yeah. a bit of recording at No Sweat, yeah. you know. Um, uh, and then that band sort of evolved um, into into a band called Go West, yeah. which was another original band yeah. um, in Perth. And then again, I got a bit sick of Perth, so Hightail did over to Sydney. Mm. And, uh, and, and that's when I saw you around the traps and yeah. doing the same sort of thing as I was doing yeah, over there, correct. basically. You know. Yeah, there was a few of us, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. So, so um, when you moved to Sydney, were you doing that sentimental blokes thing no, there? No, uh, the sentimental was blokes after, was, yeah. yeah, when we came back came from Sydney. Back. So yeah. in, in Sydney, I had a yeah. band called Paradise Garage. Yeah. Um, good, good heavy yeah. rock band, yeah. but heavy rock was kind of out of favour at yeah. that time. You know, it was all sort of like the hairdresser type bands yeah. and all that sort of stuff, as we called them. And um, <laughs> so, so we're sort of going around playing heavy rock, and everybody's going, "What's this daggy yeah. shit?" You know? Yeah, that's <laughs> you know? right. Um, but we, you know, we did it because we loved it, as yeah. we always do. And um, anyway, that band ended up, ended up folding, and I ended up coming back to Perth. Yeah. And um, and that's when I had a sort of total sea change. And in, in fact, again, it was Anthony Bridge that suggested that um, oh, let's do something different. Yeah. And he sort of said, "Let's get a swing band together." You know, and I. Went, Swing band? <laughs> Are you serious? And he sort of said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it'll be good. You know, trust yeah. me." So he put the whole repertoire together and came up with a concept of the sentimental blokes, and that was um, so it was jazzy, but it was just doing really all the commercial jazz. You know, come fly with me, yeah, let's, fly, let's fly, let's yeah. fly away. You know, all that yeah, sort of stuff, yeah. and and people were loving it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? They were kind of like, "Oh yeah, dig this." You know, New York, New York. You yeah, know, all yeah. that sort of stuff. Um, and, and I got a lot out of it too, yeah. you know, that's what I mean. It was actually a pretty good experience, yeah. you know, I'd never done that sort of music before. So. Something different. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. Other jobs throughout your life, Craig? Oh, well, uh, a lot of, a lot of shit kicking jobs, <laughs> <laughs> if I can say that. <laughs> you know, uh, say anything. The, um, you know, to support the music habit, yeah. <laughs> basically, yeah. you know. Um, so yeah, usually, uh, like when I went to England, you know, when I, when I first moved over there, I was, um, you know, I, I got this, I went, went and got a job and it was like, oh, a labourer here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no worries. You know, lock, rocked up to the job on the first thing. And there's this great big jackhammer that I'd never used before, you know. And the guy's like, right, pick up that jackhammer. That whole pathway's got to be jackhammered up, <laughs> you know, by the end of the day. <laughs> Like, no training. By the end of the day, yeah. I walked off the job. I was yeah. like this. You know, like. Be good for your vibrato when you're singing at night. Yeah. You know, there was no work safe back in those days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a few questions in a row. It's um, so sure. like a thousand dollar minute. You get a hundred dollars for each question. That's correct. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Favorite band of all time? Uh, Led Zeppelin. Earliest influence by a musician or band? Ah, uh, probably Michael Jackson. Okay. Mm. I used to sing his stuff, sorry, when I was, you know, just a, li a little tight, you know, because I had this really high voice, you know. So. Yeah, you still got it. You still got it. So um, who are you listening to on, in your car on your way here? Um, actually, uh, I was talking to Al before, um, and Daytura 4. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, Don Mariani, uh, yeah. Bob Patient. Uh, mm, but new great band. band. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, rocking. Yeah. I really love it. And, um, yeah, I just, I just, well, I just purchased their latest one you know i was saying to al as well i try and buy the odd local mm. local band stuff because it's so hard these mm. days I'm just trying to get sales for them so i'll talk about your i bought one of yours the other day Not or really. the other week um favorite if you were stranded on a deserted island mm. what would you can only take one album with you what album would that be well, it's a tough one isn't it but yeah. um but you know probably be something like Physical graffiti because it's a double album. Yeah, <laughs> so you get a little you bit more. Little more. <laughs> <laughs> but then well, that's close second would be probably you know Dark Side of the Moon or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. Rennie Lab one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Best band you saw live? 
Um, yeah, that's a tough one, but I'd probably go for, um, I'd probably go for, uh, time's up. Sorry. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking that and then I thought, no, 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 no. Um, I, I think, I think it would probably be, um, Chick Corea. Yeah. And and um and and the band he had mm. at the um I saw them at the concert hall. Yeah. I can't remember what year it was, yeah. but geez, it was just awesome. Best Perth band you saw live? Oh, that would have to be um, probably something like um, uh, Air Force, I reckon. All right, yeah. you know John Myers yeah, band, yeah, yeah. Ray Classen at the time or yeah, something. Yeah. I just Paul yeah. Reynolds was in that band as well. I think, I think so. Yeah, him. yeah, great yeah. band. You know, yeah. I just remember. I mean, Brendan like, Fostyke, I think. Yeah, 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 just you know. But I mean, again, it's a tough mm. one because you know. Yeah. There was, so I, I, many of them. Manteca, you know, I mean, oh. oh. Yeah, fantastic. Another awesome band. Favourite TV show growing up? Uh, Gilligan's Island. Oh, yes. I've heard that one before. <laughs> okay, that's the end of those questions. You've got a thousand dollars. Just see how I <laughs> the show, the producer, <laughs> you got them all right. Okay, so what does the future hold for you, Craig? Um, well, I think just making more music yep. and trying to enjoy it. You yeah, know, like that's sort of yeah what uh, what I've always done and yeah. yeah what I love doing. You've done a lot of recordings and albums, so you've mm. got two solo albums. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. brought them all in. Oh, great. <laughs> well, well, some of them. That, that's that's the there's a couple of old albums from England, the Alcatraz albums, wow. uh, uh, vinyl. And um, you still got a record player? You uh, yeah, yeah, or? still got a record player. Yeah. yeah, and um, and then this is yeah just Pink and White Bridge stuff. Yeah. You know, Various albums from Pink and White Bridge. And How's Anthony going? Is he? Is he uh, good? Yeah, yeah, he's good. Um, we're we're still writing actually. Yeah. We just we just started oh. writing some new stuff from Pink and White Bridge. And they've got a couple of solo solo albums out. Um, new my new original bands, La La's Python. We may as well get these plugs in. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, uh, can you buy these at Pro Copy? Uh, no? oh, through, through, yeah, through basically, the yeah, basically through the probably through the website. They're on yeah. sort of Bandcamp and stuff like that. You know. Um, Do you want to? What's your website? Do you want to give it a plug or? Oh well, um, yeah, well you can, yeah you can find the La La's Python thing on Bandcamp. Um, you can yep. find and um, oh I mean there's, there's, and there's so much out. I mean I, I was going to um, because we didn't make a physical album of the rock album that I made with John Mayer. Yeah. Uh, that's on Bandcamp though as well. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. yeah. So yep. so uh, especially the albums like that where there's no sort of physical copies. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Because these days, again, yeah, it's it's just hard selling CDs. Nobody, mm. you know, and people aren't using CD players much yeah. anymore. You know. So. Well, we all know John Meyer, very dear to our heart. Mm. Obviously, he's not with us anymore. No, um, sure. You know. So, can you tell me a little bit about that out that last album there that we um, went to the launch uh, a month ago or so? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that well that the, the shirt that I've got on is the blue album. Yeah. That that John, you know, the posthumous album yeah. that that. Um, that Sue released for John and yeah. um, and with the help of Tom Thorpe and stuff, but um and and I sang on one of the tracks on that, but the album um, that I did with John before that um, was something that we worked on over about ten years yeah. slowly. Um, he had a lot of sort of hard rock riffs, obviously yeah. as he as he would you know sort of come up yeah. with and and um anyway long story there was a show that John Starr put on at Met, uh, Metropolis you know yeah. I think it was about. Uh, yeah, 2000 odd, some, uh, uh, no, sorry, uh, 2010 or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and Saracen were going to play. Um, John Ryder pulled out, I think, you know, a couple of weeks before the gig. And, and so John Meyer gave me a call and sort of said, look, can you help me out? Can you mm -hmm. come and, you know, sing, you know, learn a few Saracen songs and mm -hmm. sing? Because, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd booked to do the gig. And you know, you'd wanna, be the perfect voice. Want to go ahead with it. Anyway, so I went and did that and, and it was great. You know, mm -hmm. we, we all loved it. So John sort of said, look, I've got all this stuff, you know riffs sitting around that I'm, you know, I want to yeah. do something with. So, so over the next basically 10 years, we, we slowly compiled uh, an album's yeah. worth of songs. Yeah. So, and that was just called Project Six. Yeah. 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 It's great. Yeah. Brilliant album, actually. Oh, thanks. Yeah. 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 Well, it sort of rocks out and yeah. it's just, you know, pretty honest, straightforward, mm. sort of hard rock. <laughs> so you've got a couple of new EPs out now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So that's the, that's the latest sort of uh, La La's that's Python one. Python, and we've got an, yeah. another one that's, that's just online sort of thing. Yeah. La La's Python. What yeah. A name. Yeah, what, yeah. Yeah. That's a weird how, name, isn't it? Um, well, actually you... it, it was Paul White's idea. He yeah. reckons it came to him in some sort of weird dream. Okay. <laughs> so I thought, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, so just call, call it that. I mean, it's yeah. just one of those names when somebody comes yeah. up with a name and you haven't got anything, you go, oh, that'll do. <laughs> you know. So with, you know, with the, um, atmosphere as it is now in music, you mm. know, at a time like there's no reward really for uh, 
to record either on radio yeah. or no, it's a bit you know, live yeah. gigs, mm. you know. So, you know, what drives you to keep recording and keep doing this? Oh, yeah, it's, it's just the love of it, yeah. you know. I mean, you only do it for the love of it. That's what, mm. uh, like I said before, when, when, I, when you first get that, feeling when you know when I was in that school band and you yeah. think wow this is what I want to do you've still um, got that feeling yeah, yeah yeah you know and it's uh, uh, and I was saying yeah. to Al as well before you know, it's the camaraderie you know yeah. I mean you get in the band and you know you joke around with the guys or yeah. the girls and you you know you have fun and yeah. and you, you know you throw ideas off each other and yeah. you know and um, it's great and um, and yeah and and with the latest La La's Python band that's sort of what we do we get in a we get in a room and we sort of we sort of almost have a policy of no finished songs Okay. Right. It's kind of like only come with ideas yeah. you know, that we can all, you know, go, okay, get our teeth into and mm. maybe contribute to and try and, you know, make it evolve as a band, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of good like that. I was reading a paper the other day, the Beatles, um, their last album, right. which, which they had three weeks to write. There's a documentary coming oh, out. I did a New see Zealand it. guy had 700 hours of footage. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be interesting, be interesting as well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I did see that as well. Yeah, that'd yeah. be great. Yeah. So, do you have any unfulfilled uh, ambitions? Quite? Um. Oh, only for you know worldwide number one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much. Nothing much <laughs> at all. Uh, you make at least ten dollars on a worldwide number yeah, one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, five uh, million plays on Spotify. Yeah, <laughs> equals ten dollars. <laughs> do you collect anything? Um, Toy soldiers or not coins really? Or no. Anything? I mean, I've got lots of musical bits and pieces, and and sort of you know old, old mandolins and drums and you know so yeah. it's i guess m musical things you generally yeah. yeah if anything you know cool what would you put on your gravestone oh cool. <laughs> it's a it's a very contentious question to ask, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's I right eight eight out of 108 i think we've interviewed have passed have passed yeah. on that on, on that so, yeah yeah oh yeah. well um don't feel jinxed <laughs> yeah. no i did hear a good quote um uh, um once and it was um life I think it was something, some, something along the lines of um, uh, time is a great, is the greatest teacher, um, but um, unfortunately, most of its, well, what is it? Something about most of its time is the great, great uh, time is the greatest teacher, but most of its students. Don't listen. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I, I can't remember now, but it was it was a good one anyway. Yeah. yeah. Probably I'd probably try and find something, you know, meaningful like that. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something we don't know about you that you want to share with us or mm, well I don't know, hope no. not. No. <laughs> okay. Uh no, I uh, uh I'm not going to come out of the closet on the on the profile. No, no, that's, <laughs> that, that's fine if you want to. That's we're open to anything. <laughs> no, no, it's all good. No, I don't. I don't think so. No, I don't, uh, yeah. yeah. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Oh, um, or oh, not really. No, yeah. it's just. Um, I Is mean, it it's, something I said. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's funny um, though. You know, like when when uh, you get asked to do this uh, this sort of thing because you sort of think of all the players you've played with, all the bands you've been in. And you think, oh, you know, wouldn't it be great to, you know, sort of mention everybody and, you know, and, you know, you know, and um, yeah, it's it's just one of those things. And also trying to remember back sometimes just yeah. all the details. You sort of think, now was that that year or was that <laughs> yeah. that year or, or yeah. you know, so so yeah. Yeah, give Sam Marcello a ring. He's probably got it all documented right. <laughs> about your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, does. That's he right. does. He, right. And Al's a bit like that too. He's got a lot of yeah. Paraphernalia on people, haven't you? Yeah, you? you're growing your mo. <laughs> <laughs> and it's and it's you know it's great that you guys uh, you know do, do this sort of thing. You know, mm. go, I've, I've seen quite a few of the profiles yeah, myself, exactly. and it's it's excellent. You know, you, you sort of think, oh, okay, so you don't know any, them and you know play, play with that. Don't know any ministers that you could get some money for us out of to hear <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> Yeah, a bit hard to come by, but yeah, oh, it's a credit to Phil and Mark and, and Al that, oh, that we do these and, and at least document some history. Oh, definitely. No, it's a great job. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. you guys definitely deserve some funding, you know, more so than lots of other yeah. stuff. But hey, thank you. Better not go there. No, no, it's political. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you want to subscribe to these interviews, www.procopy.com.au. Is that right, Mark? That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> oh, it just seems. Really flat tonight. <laughs> ah, profile.com.au. Okay, so you can watch us on there. Craig, thanks very much for coming in. Jerry, really pleasure, pleasure to talk to you, mate. Thank you, mate. Good on you. Good on you.
And um, that's it for episode whatever it is, 100 and whatever. Ish. Ish. <laughs> um, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Copy, we can transfer audio to CD, make CD, DVD and Blu-ray copies, transfer video to DVD, Blu-ray or HD, digitise slides and photos and supply custom USBs. 
You can see more details at procobby.com.au or call us on 08 9375 3902 for more information.